Hi, it's Lodro uh, with What Would Sid Do Wednesdays? And this week's question is, how would a Buddhist practitioner relate to money in today's world? So this is um, the final talk I'll also mention in the series of The Path of the Tiger from the book, The Buddha Walks Into a Bar. And I wanted to mention one more aspect of the tiger in relationship to this question, which is discernment. Discernment in this case is a natural outcome of meditation practice. The more we actually sit on the cushion and get to know ourselves, the more we actually start to get to know our habitual patterns as part of that process. So if you notice that there are certain aspects of your life you want to cultivate more, then you ought to do that off the meditation cushion. If you say, for example, I've been spending time with these sorts of people, these sorts of friends, and I've ended up gossiping more, I've ended up um, not enjoying myself, just drinking to excess, whatever it might be, and you don't want to do that anymore, discernment says, okay, let's rein it back in and not do that. It's essentially uh, a path of learning from mistakes which is completely, in my mind, a great path to follow. Either we get things completely right 110% of the time, or we learn uh, from these mistakes that come up in our life. And I think the path of making mistakes can be very valuable. And the discernment aspect here is when we do that off the meditation cushion, we actually follow through and we, um, we, don't, do, we don't make the same mistake twice. Now, I want to uh, bring this back to the discussion about money, because... Um, obviously, any time we spend money, we're affecting others. We have uh, an effect on society as a whole. It, that's the nature of interdependence. So I want to uh, offer one quick exercise. Try taking $100 out of your bank account and just watch how you spend it. Be mindful and present enough to notice exactly where that money goes. And this sounds easy enough, but how many times have you gone out with friends, woken up the next day, checked your pockets, and thought, how did I spend all that money? So if you want, you could just jot down how much you spend over time, uh, as you go through that $100 and see if you are more or less discerning now that you're bringing your full attention to your spending habits. As you continue to examine your spending patterns, you can bring your attention to what habits feel good. Maybe that's offering a few dollars to a homeless woman or those that don't feel so good. Maybe that's buying an overpriced but not so nutritious meal. In either case, just observe your financial dealings and see how they make you feel. Explore your habits wholeheartedly and begin to discern if there's some that you want to pursue more, and some that you actually just want to get rid of. So that's my advice, um, and obviously it's based within the context of meditation practice. The more we can actually be present, the more discernment actually manifests in our life. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions for future editions of this, please post them below.